Carly and Josh were up for the weekend. Let's see what we got into. Welcome, Welcome to, to Bob's, Bob's Woodshop. <laughs> hey, Bob, I really love your wall of weapons, but I noticed you've got the Mandalorian rifle, you've got the Predator knife, you've got the Rambo knife, you've got the broadsword from Conan, but what I really love is your zombie killer axe. Oh, yeah. Can I have that? Can't have it, but we, we can, can make one. one. Hey. Okay, enough playing around. Let's get the show on the road. So once we get this part done, this is about the seventh or eighth design that we that we did. The rest is going to be pretty easy. And from we're gonna taper these guys. Yeah, we're gonna taper taper one end to fit the handle in there. Okay, we need two of these, so now that we got the first one, we're going to use this as a template for the second one and just repeat the exact same process. Now we're working on the handle. In order to do that, we gotta find the center. So I'm gonna take one line that way, rotate 90 degrees, hold it down, another line that way. Yeah. There we've got the center. Then we're gonna go half inch, half inch, quarter inch. Quarter inch. Quarter inch. One side, quarter inch, other side. Right. Okay, since the handle is gonna be oval, we have to turn this off center. And in order to mount this on the lathe, we're just using a scratch on in order to make a couple dimples like this on both sides. That's why we did a quarter inch offset off of the uh, center line. Starting to develop that profile now. This is how you turn an oval on a lathe. Let's 
go back into it. Let's go back into time lapse. Okay, time for assembly. We got all the sanding done. I'll put a little glue right here. Spread that out right like that. Like this. A little too much glue. Cut a little notch out to fit the handle a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Do this side. plan comes together. this we're gonna paint this separate and we're gonna put the we're gonna go ahead and paint this black now we're gonna take the handle out and we'll paint this and we'll we're gonna put a, some kind of finish on here we'll do that next so we've got some boiled linseed oil here which is really the best finish for workbenches and also battle axe that's right it's a very durable finish it looks really good on the sapelli and we're going to put a couple coats of this on.
Nice little decorative touch. This stuff is really got a lot of odor to this. Amazing. So we're just gonna hang this up here for a while and let that dry. And we'll come back a little later. Beautiful. Okay, so we're almost done. Final step is to put the wedge in. That's what we're gonna do right now. So for a cold winter afternoon, this project came out pretty nice. We only spent a few hours on this and we had quite a bit of fun doing it. I love the metallic paint on this and the rivets came out very nice. I'm glad Josh had the idea to make this. And uh, there we are having a little bit of celebration. And hey, let's not forget those bloopers. Hey, honey, I've got a Valentine's Day present for you. For me? For you. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, hey, Josh, what are you going to do with that new battle axe? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Josh, what are you going to do with that new battle axe? Carly, get in here. We're going marauding and pillaging. Ain't that right? Oh, I like cuddling better. <laughs> cuddling and pillaging. <laughs> Welcome to Bob's Woodshop. Tune in next time, because next time we're making a Viking ship. A real one. Arr, arr. <laughs> That'd be fun. Hey Josh, what are you going to do with that new battle axe? We're going to the Renaissance Fair. Great! <laughs> what are you going to do with that? I'm going to put it on your side of the bed. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That'll look really good in your office. Okay. Okay. Oh, thanks to Carly and Josh. Had a lot of fun. And you guys know the drill. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Until next time, I'll see you on another episode of Bob's Woodshop.